stream if you just joined us from YouTube. Brian, can you check that out, please? Um, we had a bit of a technical problem. I think it was... Uh, it was not streaming on YouTube. And was we were 10 minutes in, so we lost a bit of time. But that's all right. We can run a little bit over. So today's subject, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Shane. We're from JR Art Lab. Sorry, guys, if you already watched this bit. Uh, but uh, we'll have to go through these things again. So I'm working at jrartlab.com. Uh, we do all kinds of digital art. We do digital painting, graphic design, uh, film photography, uh, what else, podcasting. And our website is www.jrartlab.com. So jump over there and have a look at what we do. We also do creative coaching. If you would like to develop your artistic skills in a specific way, uh, we can help you with that. Just like a sports coach, we coach you along to help you grow the skills that you want. Um, so it could be that you want to learn how to make a logo design for your small business. Uh, we can help you to learn that. So we are a teach you how to fish kind of company um, rather than a, a sell you the fish kind of company. And every week on Fridays, we do a live stream. So thank you for joining us today for the live stream. Today's live stream is uh, not brought to you by anybody and we do not have any sponsors. So we do it because we want to and because we enjoy it. And it is great for us to practice our drawing and painting skills. So each week we sketch a whole new topic. Uh, we start at eight o'clock. Now we're about 15 minutes in. So we'll probably run a little bit over today. Um, so today's stream is about horses and it was inspired by a friend of mine who posted a beautiful picture of her horse, Catherine. She is also an artist. Hi, Catherine. And she paints horses. So uh, if you happen to see the stream, uh, search up Catherine Spirit Horses and you might find her work. I don't know if she has a website, um, but uh, yeah, she has a beautiful horse and she had a great photo today. So I have that in one of our reference pictures. Um, so we are going to start by uh, switching over to the other screen and if you would like to suggest a topic or if you have a pet that you would like to be added to our uh, uh, subject matter for the week, um, maybe we can do have a look at that. You can send me an email. My email will be above my head in the next, uh, the next, what do you call that, frame? All right, so here's me and here's our horses. Now, what we've done so far, in the first 10 minutes, which is what we usually do, I share you the link in the chat. Um, so I will put that link in again. So I'm just gonna share this link, copy this link. Now, you can chat with me if you join on Twitch, uh, but you can also make comments on YouTube or Facebook Live uh, if you would like to. Um, and do share the stream and comment, uh, subscribe, all those things. Uh, we are uh, we are we are only kind of new, I suppose, for the streaming world. So what we do is we create uh, some reference board images, okay? And I did have a bunch here, but I've now separated them out into ones that I really liked, which I would maybe want to study, and ones which will tell me a little bit about anatomy and information. So I did find. Equine, that's such a cool word, isn't it? Uh, all right, so this one's pretty good. We might do a study of this one first. Okay, horsey teeth, horsey skeleton can be good too. So in order to improve our brain, because I, uh, I am not very skilled, well, not very practiced, I suppose, at drawing and painting horses. Uh, so I want to fulfill my brain with fulfill i want to fill my brain with a little bit more information before i get going um do we have a real horse skeleton i suppose we can use this one there's just a lot of words that's distracting my very small brain i don't know where this acupuncture reference link came from um funny uh that one's pretty good too here's some good knee and shoulder ones we might have a look at that if we get stuck. There's a good skeleton there. Here's some segmented muscles. I think I'm gonna go with the skeleton. All right, so I think the first sketch we're gonna do for today in Sketch Club, by the way, it's called Sketch Club, as we are sketching every week uh, a new subject matter. Uh, the first one we're gonna do is this one. So I'm just gonna get, now I'm gonna get a brush and 
get going here. Now, this is very different from our classes. Uh, if you join our classes, we help you a lot more with explaining the software and brushes and layers and uh, effects and whatever else it is that pertains to the subject matter that you're studying. Um, and yeah, you can join our classes or if you would like to inquire about it uh, and see if we have a space that would suit uh, the both of us, you can send me an email up here uh, or you can send uh, one to our admin email, which is admin at jrartlab.com. And um, if you were inquiring about one of our other streams, so what kind of brush do I want to start off with? Let's have a look at, do I have Kyle? Yes, I do. Kyle's ink, ink drawing. Let's have a look at some drawing brushes. How big is this? Oh, that looks good. Yes, there's a bit of pressure sensitivity on that one. That's all we need for starters. And there is a bunch of flies in my room today, which is not great. One just flew towards my mouth, but luckily I closed it first. Another one just crawled across my screen. All right, so let's start off with horsey bumps and horsey chest. is a very dark pencil. What is this called? Glide. This can be messy. We're just sort of sketching away here on. That's better. I'm just trying to learn. Oh, look, it looks like a broken bone. Let's not do that. One, two, there's a few extra segments in that foot. Their foot, their foot looks very complicated. I do believe, I've heard of a few people talk about how their, their horse had some foot problems. So maybe it's why, maybe they have, look at like their feet has, like we have probably a joint from the hip. Then we have another joint for like the femur area. I don't know what this isn't labeled, but if it was a, a human kind of leg, I think that's the femur. And then we have um, the two bones in our like forearm or ex like lower leg. And then there looks like there's one, two, three sort of other bones down in there. Now I did put in, yeah, see that? There's one, two, three going up before it even gets to the major bone of the two, the twisty or twistier bone. Uh, interesting. Alright, so this is very free. You don't have to make a pretty picture here, okay? We, we can, and sometimes we do, but sometimes we don't. But uh, either way, we added knowledge to our information. Knowledge to our information, we information to our knowledge, um, which is our goal. Our goal is to to learn some more. What happened there? Why are you not drawing? Oh, 
Sometimes I do notice that Affinity Photo uh, does that. I think Photoshop does it as well as Procreate. Well, who's excited about the new Procreate, uh, I don't know what it's called, the animation one they're making? I had a bit of a spoiler alert when I, I couldn't not research what they were what they were planning to do in the in procreate and everybody was saying because of the they were saying it's time or something like this that that it was going to be an animation type feature oh look at their little ears so i hope you guys all had a lovely week welcome to friday or friday um i am i am keeping my ear out for a, a good phrase i notice all these youtube people they have cool phrases for now my body's too small but we can fix that that's not a selection brush um let's see grab that stretch him out a bit let's see how that looks a bit better but still a bit bigger i think I think my legs just need to be longer, but we can fix that as we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the lookout for a, a cool intro. So if you would like to suggest a, an art-related YouTube intro, like, hello artists, are you ready to paint? But nicer than that. Something along those lines would be cool. I'd love to hear it. Okay. Horsey bums, horsey leg, part A. They do say horses are very hard to draw because humans have a bit of a history with them and we're used to seeing them around. And I believe that's what, what they say makes things harder to draw, is when you have more that's really heavy black can we can we not do that well, we're gonna need to do some editing on this puppy when we on this horsey when we get going Another segment. Oh, that's way too short. Anybody out there loves to draw and paint horses? You probably painted them a lot before and I hope this is an exciting moment for you to join those muscles going there. Mine looks like a bit of a draft horse or what do they call those ones? There was a lot of, I went to our local show a couple of weeks back there. That was really fun. Um, uh, and the local show had horses and chickens and ducks and they had a cool like what do you call that uh, where you can a nursery they had a cool nursery See if we can separate this off a little bit. Oh gosh. I've got to set up my things again. Every time I update, I lose my selection stuff. Touch on and off radial menu. Let's have a look on radial menu. Oh, we've got to do a save. Thank you, radial menu. Oh, and it didn't work. Wonderful. Save. File. Save as uh, horses. How are we doing for time? Good. Only a few minutes in here. 
Alright. Precision mode. We don't need precision mode. So let's make you something else. Precision mode is going to be keyboard keystroke going to put that just off camera for a bit in case I want to add some more things. So let's go brush, test it out. Yay! And then we can cancel up here. Good, good. Lasso. Okay, so what were we doing again? We were giving him some more body. Invert the selection.
three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a lot of things. I don't think we're going to go that detail. I just want to give myself some information for our sketch. Something a bit more than what I had when I started. That's all we want. Okay. We're not doing a complete artwork of the... Interesting how big it gets in this back section there, but that's spine. The spine gets quite large near that leg and then comes down again. Okay, got a big shoulder blade here and then this one doesn't really have a shoulder blade. It has like this interesting shape. All right, I think that's enough for that one. Let's move on to the paint sketch. Okay. Now, if I was going to really get into horses, I would probably do a, a study of these muscles, these uh, superficial muscles that we can see on the surface, but we can refer back to this once we get going. Okay, so I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to get this one and shrink it down. And I might, no, 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 I won't shrink it down. I'll just leave it big. Uh, and I'm going to call this study one. And we'll turn that off. All right. Oh, touch, touch screen is on. Touch screen activated. All right. Now, because we're about halfway through, I'm just going to jump straight to my horse painting and see what we can manage. Do I feel like it should be on this side? Yes, there we go. Okay. Now I do want to do this guy. This guy here. The black horse. And I'm probably going to have to work out what I'm going to do about that square composition. But we can play with that later. All right, so let's get in to, we've got to get some good colors here. Mm. So I'll give myself a BG. And let's flood it. Of course, it goes to the other color. And we'll add in one. Let's get something big and messy. Bigger messy. Make a big mess. Mm -hmm. well, let's try something again. I don't think I'd like these ones actually. only work with that that's right you have to turn off this associated tool if you ever run into this there's this thing now that didn't exist before where it has which tool is it associated with and if you associate it to a tool it'll automatically switch to that tool which I guess is good but if you want to use them with something else like a mixer brush it will say sorry you cannot do that let's see how they go and i'm still not on mixer brush and then they kind of change oh that's nice okay let's give that guy a go 88 uh, a bit messy bit mixy let's try 
bit more red mixing. Well, it doesn't add a lot of paint though, does it? And the flow's already up at 100. Accumulation, size, spacing, flow, rotation, shape, blend mode. Let's try that. Size, jitter, pressure change size, accumulation jitter, flow jitter, not be More like it. Yay! Yep, good, nice smudginess here. And let's get yellow and see how much. Good, okay. So we'll just get rid of that. Check our layers. Alright. Very nice eraser. Eraser basic. Let's get a hard edge. I really like. 
horses' noses. I also really like uh, other things' noses. Maybe I have a like. I just like noses of animals. I think it could be a really a thing. Okay. So mixing a bit here. Let's just get our big shape. We can steal those colors. Mm, lighter, a bit more saturated. Let's see how that goes. And I want to throw in some quick greens behind. No, I kind of want to do it on a. a Brownie white creamy thing. Yeah, like that. That will be good. If anybody knows where I can get some more jazz kind of tunes from that are royalty free and you can use in um, music, that would be great. Let me know in the chat or send me an email because it would be nice to have some just something a bit more jazzy. getting too grey.
All right, how are we doing? Oh, seven minutes to go. Gee, Louie. Gee, Louie. Let's chop, 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 chop. Let's move this. Hey, yeah. One sampler. Come on, selector.
bit of an anomaly there. What's that? Alright. Let's get some lips. Nope, let's get a mouse before we get some lips. Okay. Sample up. Uh, uh, uh. Back to the horse. Alright, let's get some of this wonderful sampling. Not sampling. Where is the button? Three. Because I'm an eraser. That's why. Okay, sample. Sample. You know how I know it's good people? It's got a beard. See that little horsey beard? some more on this horsey but let's see try and speed it up for a second then I thought I was on the wrong layer don't we all love it when we painting and you're painting away and then all of a sudden 
the wrong layer. You realize that, oh, I did that thing a minute ago on the background layer. And then... Where's my sample up? Those beautiful big eyes. to come out a bit more doesn't it it needs more i love their lips too horsies they scare me a little bit when you're really close to them they're really big and when you feed them they could just like go a little bit too far and gobble up your whole hand but i don't think they do they seem very calm beautiful Oh, we got a mustache. How do we get that mustache? What was that? My finger? Finger drawing. I've got the glove on finger. Don't do that. Okay. And we can go a little bit less and a little bit more. Let's see if we can't get some lips.
think we're gonna have to, it's 10 past. We're gonna have to call it quits soon for the day. Oh, come on, sample a brush. Why do you not sample? Because you're pushing the wrong button, fool. Shh. I've already got enough critics, sampler. Right, let's see if we can get a little cheeky smudging brush and get something that has the magical shape of a million dots. <laughs> like that. And see if we can't then turn up the strength and then push back in and push back out again. Oh, what are you doing? Why does it feel like it's erasing? doing some weird stuff there with that smudger but all right a little bit of brown around the nose I think let's see if we can go less saturated a little bit lighter Alright, the end of the music tells me it must be time for stopping. Alright, close that off. Let's do a save. We probably should have saved a few more times in there, but hey. Alright, well, thank you everybody for joining us on Sketch Club. Uh, we still got our good hour of sketching and painting in. Um, if you would like to join us uh, next week, we will be here. If you would like to suggest a subject matter for next week, you can suggest. If you would like to send us photos of that subject matter, you can. My email is up there. So I'm Shane and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and we will see you next week. Bye. <laughs>